Welcome to this tutorial on creating custom skeletons for Zoo Tycoon 2. Um, first of all, you need a model, and you can use anything you want here. I'll import my Northern Pike and we only want the model so select everything and deselect the model using shift and right click that doesn't want to work again now it works and delete and now you have the model only first of all you want to have your model centered around the origin so do that roughly and now it looks good and so press spacebar and add your skeleton now this doesn't really look familiar so we turn on x-ray x-axis mirror axis and stick now it looks like the skeletons that you're used to um, turn to edit mode using tab and then select the first node and we call it bib01 this is the root node and this will perform all global movements of the animal and now we turn on the property display by um, hitting N um, now you take the end of the node and by um, pressing uh, control you can lock it to the grid so move it down here completely and now move it one unit one meter um, to the end so this is your bib01 node and now we got to create the bib01 non-ecum node and for this we select bib01 and duplicate it and doesn't really matter where it goes you can simply put it somewhere else mm. now call it bib01 uh, non-ecum and make sure it is child of bib01 so now it has this child parent relationship line and you can see it is the child of bib01 and uh, now again uh, or now we are ready to create the actual skeleton that will later be used to rig the model to so we we would start with the head so we duplicate the bib01 non ecom node and move it here try to figure out where the joints should go in the real animal where where the head is attached to the spine and and call it um, bib01 head and we have our head node now we take the end of the head node and move it uh, extrude it back here using E and now this will become our spine so call it bib01 spine and now I press W for subdivide and we use subdivide multi because we want to subdivide it several times at once um, and I take number of cuts at five and now we have five different 
spine nodes and now we got to name each one accordingly because they were named strangely so we call the second one spine 1 and the third we call spine 2 this one we call spine 3 spine 4 and spine 5 so now we have the spine and the head um, and now this is something we don't want to have you can see the head is still a child of the bib01 node so, um, so we select it and change its parent and it should be parent of the spine and now check the spine see what oh yeah every node that um, or every node we have should be um, child of bib01 non ecom and only bib01 non ecom should be um, child of bib01 so change that. So now if we go to pose mode, we move around bib01, everything moves. If we move around the non ecom node, everything but bib01 moves. And if we move around the spine node, um, later on the whole body would move. But the, uh, the BIP01 node and the non ECOM node will stay in place. Okay, so now we can add the fins. Uh, let's start with the back fin and take the end of the tail, extrude it, one up here, call it. Um, tail 1 and this one tail 2 and now we create the dorsal fin so we select this um, part here and extrude it now we select the node we extruded and disconnect it from this um, its parent you know if we move it now the parent and the child move along but we don't want that so we disconnect it and select it again and now it can move along um, alone on its way and we can place it where we want it So we'll call this one dorsal and duplicate it, move it down, call it ventral and duplicate it again. Move it forward and call it back fin now because we have two of those fins we have to add the suffix for left and this is dot l you know we have one on the left side and one on the right side and now we have to give it some asymmetry move it on the x-axis and again the head so make sure it aligns properly with the limb that you want to move like this and now select it and duplicate it for the front fin make sure to remove all those 
dot zero zero one suffixes because they will um, spoil the the naming convention. Yeah, then it won't be um, recognized as left or right anymore. And now call it front fin. And always be sure to keep the dot before in front of the L. I removed it, but I added it again. Um, now we need two more. First of all, the jaw. So we take um, the head node and select the tip and extrude it and deconnect it again. Take it, move it here. Try to figure out where the joint is located. Mm, well, about here, I'd say, and call it jaw. And now we could use a node that controls the gills so it looks like it's breathing so we duplicate the jaw, uh, the jaw and move it here and then we name it gill left and now top view move it outwards on the x-axis so it fits nicely Okay, so now we've oh we've got to align the front fin on the x-axis. Yeah, that looks all right. So now we've got all the nodes we need on the left side, but they are missing on the right side of the animal. So we select all those nodes that we have on the right side. Um, front fin back fin and gill and uh, shift D for duplicating move them to the left then press W and flip left right names and now press A A again and now press G but cancel it with the right uh, mouse button and now we have a perfectly symmetrical skeleton with nice um, naming and it named them automatically um, with dot r so for right and now there's only one thing left to do and that is I'm recalculating the role for oh no there's something else I forgot to um, to parent those uh, fins to the the right spine part so at the moment they are all parented to um, spine 4 but we don't want that because now if we test this it gives stupid results. You know if we move this node they move along and we don't want that because they should only move for example these uh, should move only if we move this node or above and we change the parents child of um, oh yeah something else that's useful turn on names and then then you see the nodes that you have. So we make it child of spine 2. That probably looks better. Okay. Spine 2 also for the left ones and for those spine without any suffix. Spine and now yeah, that looks all right. Go to and gills are fine. Okay, now we've got our rig almost done, except 
for one thing we've got to recalculate the roll values um, you don't really have to understand it just do it so select um, every node and press Control N uh, clear roll Z axis up and now you will notice that the axis of the bones change so now the Z axis points up and see the difference and we do that because it gives um, nicer results for interpolating and in in the myth it, it's better maths but it, it it's not really important you don't have to do it but you should okay and now we've got our skeleton done and it's pretty much ready for animating hope you understood everything and see you for the next tutorial on either animating or rigging don't know yet <laughs>